Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss lead code question 1539 that says kth missing positive number. So although the question is easy, but in order to solve this question in big O of log n time complexity, it is a bit tricky. So make sure you watch the video till the end and like this video and subscribe to our channel. So here in this question you are given one array of positive integers and they are already sorted in strictly increasing order. And further you are given one integer k. And we need to return the kth positive integer that is missing from the array. So for an example, you are given this array containing 2, 3, 4, 7 and 11. And you need to find the fifth missing positive integer. So if you uh, find uh, if you find the array, the array of uh, missing numbers here, that the missing numbers are 1, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15 and so on. So from this array, the fifth, uh, fifth uh, index is uh, this 9. So this is the fifth missing number from all the missing number. Okay. Similarly, uh, here in this question that uh, this is the given array 1, 2, 3, 4 and the uh, missing integers array list is here 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and so on. So from this list, the second missing uh, positive integer is 6. So yeah, we return 6 our answer. <coughs> so guys, this question, uh, if you want to do in big of n time complexity, then you can all do by simple simply using uh, one hash map type of thing and you will find and you can find that which is the uh, fifth or the kth missing integers in that way one another way to do in big o of uh, n time complexity is by doing something like this that we will check with the previous element and yeah, if the previous element not equals to array of five that means we have found uh, one, the missing element and this is one way to do this but as you can see in the follow-up that if the question says that can you solve this problem in less than big O of n time complexity and this is where I am here to help you. So mostly uh, in the interview what happens is even this type of simple questions become a bit tricky if uh, the interviewer asks to reduce your solution by reducing the time complexity. Uh, means interviewer asks to optimize the time complexity. So yeah this is the same thing that uh, this question has asked us. And we will uh, talk in detail on this. Okay, so first thing you have to get, take a note is the uh, array integers are, are already ordered and sorted in strictly increasing order. Okay, and whenever you need to solve something in less than big of n complexity, then what is the complexity that is less than big of n? That is simply big of log n. Some hints that you can take from the equation is first thing is uh, numbers are already sorted in the input and we need to find a solution whose time complexity is less than big O of n. So, <clears throat> so that means that uh, here we need to write some code that is of time complexity big O of log of n. Okay. And one algorithm by which we can uh, write this type of solution when the input is sorted. So using both this, the only thing that can come that should come to our mind is binary search. So binary search has both these properties where the input is sorted and our result can be get in big O of log of n time complexity. So yeah, thinking of binary search is very obvious at, for this question. Now in binary search, we uh, move towards the left, towards the right with the help of some condition. And here one such thing you are given is the k, k missing numbers. So if you take a look at this example, let me type it down here. So for this, uh, so what should be the ideal array without any missing integers? So our ideal array should be something like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This should be our ideal array. But here, <coughs> what we add, we are given, we are given like 2, 3, 4, 7 and 11. So as you guys can see that at each index, at each index, there are some missing elements. So here uh, I, I will write missing numbers. So number uh, count of missing numbers. So I will write count of missing numbers. So here there is one missing number. You just take a difference. How many missing number are there at each index? Here there is also one missing number. Here there is one missing number. Here there is three missing number. And here there is six missing number. Just take a difference. That many number of missing number are there till this point. Okay, simple as it is. So now guys, as you can see, our k is 5. So that lies between these two. Okay, k lies between these two. So if there are three missing number here and we need five missing number. So what we can do, we can simply uh, add something here. 
like <coughs> how many missing number are there there are two missing numbers still means there are total three and our target is five so we need to add something to here so that we can we get five missing number simple as it is so what we can do is uh, here we have seven so if you add two to the seven then you will get five missing number right the fifth is missing number simple as it is so yeah what we do we do seven plus uh, remaining missing count remaining uh, count of missing number then we will get the kth missing number got it so this is how by using binary search we can solve this question okay so let me show you the code and for for better understanding see as in the binary search we have two pointers low and high and yeah this is the how we calculate the mid and this is what this is the calculation of number number of or the count of missing numbers at the index mid so this is what we did we counted number uh, the missing numbers at each index so uh, if this is less than k we move towards the right and if it is greater than k we move towards the left so what would be the stopping condition of this so here we need to find index x uh, uh, index i where uh, count of missing numbers is greater than k and we need to find first search index first index i first index i where count of missing numbers is greater than k okay so let's say such, such index is s so at x index the number of missing elements are greater than k so you can say that x minus 1 index is the index where number of uh, missing elements are less than k less than equal to k because uh, uh, here this is the first index where this condition is satisfied so just a previous index will say uh, will satisfy this condition correct so if you get this index then you will add some elements let's say uh, add some y elements then you will get answer simple as it is so this thing we are doing here so here if this is satisfied see area of mid minus mid plus one see mid plus one is uh, the ideal situation like this is the ideal case one two three four five and area of mid is the number that is given in the input and the difference is what difference is the count of missing elements so this count of missing elements is less than k then we are doing what we are doing low is equal to mid plus one okay now now in order to get the first index i where count of missing elements is greater than k that it will be stored in the mid see mid is what where is where the count is less than k but low is stored what where count is greater than equal to k right low is stored that because in low we are doing mid plus one the next index uh, where this uh, condition will falls uh, where the condition will falls will be stored in this low simple as it is here the mid is x minus one see but uh, and we are showing what x in low so low would be the index uh, it would be the first index where the count of missing numbers is would be greater than k simple as it is so yeah that will be stored in this low now with the help of the low we uh, we can get our answer because low minus one index would be uh, would be our this index where by adding few of the elements we can get our answer okay simple as it is now here as we know that uh, see what this will give this will give number of missing elements at low minus one index okay and subtracting k subtracting k what does it give us this will give us the <coughs> this how many more remaining count of missing numbers see this is count of missing number and this is target and subtracting them will get remaining count that we simply need to add to uh, uh, the low minus one okay simple as it is see what we did here let me again explain you this see here this uh, low is add a c this is low here low is what four and add a of low minus one is what seven see we have to compare with low because our uh, our indexing see here we did uh, low minus one because it is zeroth indexing ideas ideas are zeroth indexing so yeah for that we did array of low minus one and yeah the ideal situation it would be low the element value should be low and the current value is seven so if taking the difference we'll get how many missing element are there at that index so that is three here now how many elements we need to add to get our target so that is what that is k minus three that is two uh, two numbers still we need to add so this is the same thing we did here area of low minus one plus remaining count 
so that will give kth missing number so this is same thing we are doing here uh, add f low minus 1 plus the remaining count and if you simplify this see this is what add f low minus 1 <coughs> plus k simply open the bracket add f low minus 1 plus low so if you open this bracket this here outside is minus and inside it is also minus so this will become plus okay and these two statement will cancel out and remaining it will be k plus low this is simple mathematics this two statement will cancel out when and if you open the bracket this minus will become plus and yeah you will get this so that's why we are returning low plus k i hope you got this that how we derive this this is from this example you uh, understood this what we are doing and at the end if you simply open this uh, equation you will get k plus o so that's why we simply return k plus low here so i hope you guys understood this question that uh, first thing what uh, why be why binary search uh, because input is sorted and we need to solve in big of log of and time complexity so we use binary search second how binary search by taking difference uh, with uh, the uh, with like this we're taking difference of area of mid minus one minus mid uh, area of mid and minus mid plus one so mid plus one is the ideal number and area of mid is the current number so this difference will tell is tell us what count of missing number count of missing number at index mid so this will tell the count of missing number at index mid third thing what we notice we find uh, first index where count of missing number i will let me just take count is greater than equal to k we find first index and such that and uh, and let's say this index is x so x minus 1 index um, <coughs> is uh, is where we had to make some processing so at this x minus 1 index what we do we simply add add of x minus 1 plus how many more elements we want at this index so that is k minus total missing index k minus the count okay and what is this count count is simply array of x minus 1 minus x this is simply the count count is what missing elements at the index x at this index x minus 1 okay and k minus this is this will give us what remaining uh means this will give us the total missing elements that we want to achieve at this index and by adding those numbers to this uh, array to this number uh, to this value we will get our kth missing index so this is how we will uh, this is we will get kth missing number okay simple as it is <clears throat> i hope you guys understood this all these points that why binary search how binary search why this see if you have still confusion that why we are going why we are finding the first index only where count is greater than equal to k because its previous index is where from where we can get our answer from where the previous by using the previous index we can get our answer and yeah I hope you guys understood that how this formula works and uh, why it uh, simplifies to low plus k. So if you look at the coding part, it is the same what we have discussed and the time complexity here is big O of log of n and the space complexity here is big O of 1. So yeah, that's all for this video. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.